So I was reflecting on this concept today about whether you need to be in community to heal. And I'd just come back from this amazing retreat in Portugal um, with emotional releases where we've been guiding 40 people for 10 days and it got likened to being almost like group therapy, um, which, yeah, when people are going through their processes, so deep emotional processes for themselves and for things from their past and things they've been suppressing, this in itself is really intense. And then if you times this with the whole group dynamic of what's going on, then it intensifies it exponentially. And it got me really thinking into, do you really need to be in community in order to heal? And there's two parts to this. I do feel that you really can only meet other people in community to the depth that you've actually met yourself first. So if you are not able to look at your own self, your own shadows, your own patterns, your own um, dynamics that are going on within yourself, then when you do encounter others and begin to relate in any form, in community, in friendships, that this can only go to a certain depth. So um, it also got me then thinking that you don't necessarily need to travel to a retreat in a de tropical destination. You don't need to go to a really expensive training in order to retreat. Because just like an animal, when it gets injured, what does it do? It retreats. So allowing its wounds to heal its wounds to recover and as humans we also should do this and don't do this enough so whenever something comes up which is a wound which is a hurt we should take the time to go by ourselves whether it's in your own country in your own city in your own bedroom to sit and witness yourself to sit and see what parts of you are crying out for help are they parts that are new? Are they parts that are old? Are they parts that are not even yours from this generation or lifetime before? But often we don't take that time to sit still. Often we don't take that time to be alone without distraction. And without that, how can we possibly try to heal? So this is my how do I say, insight <laughs> from having to spend an intense community time together and now being flung back into time alone and realising that there's so much beauty and so much benefit in both. So not resisting either, not isolating myself completely to be in process and sit in my room and cry for months and also not distract myself with community to the point where I spend all my time distracting myself. So yes, it's possible to heal in both ways, with community and with others. See you guys next time.